continues his teaching on giving and i think that the key word here is a simple little four letter word when w h e n he says thus when you give to the needy sound no trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may be praised by others now all of us love to be patted on the back or on the head and we have to resist that temptation that's our prideful nature in our flesh that wants to be recognized. We want to think that there's something good we've done that makes us or contributes and helps us to be right before God. But there's nothing you and I can do that will make God love us one drop more or love us one drop less. Our our faith and our hope And our trust is in Jesus Christ and his finished work. He died for you and I. And by believing in him, uh, by confessing Jesus as Lord and knowing that God raised him from the dead, when we have a change of mind, a repentance, we are born again. And that's the only way. And we, our only part in that is to receive the gift. We can't earn it in the least drop. But he does say, when you give to the needy. So the real message here in this particular portion is that we should always be considering others, especially those who are less fortunate, those who Jesus referred to. Uh, later in here, he says, At, for as you have done it to the least of these, so you have done it to me. So we need to think about the least of these, the least of these around the corner and around the world. We need to love our neighbor near and far as ourself. He says, but when you give to the needy, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your giving may be in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you. In other words, don't blow a horn and say, look at me, look at what I'm doing. So we we need to serve God and honor God and love our neighbor. And when we give to the needy, we don't need to do it for the purpose of being noticed, but do it in order to honor God and bless others. Amen. God bless you. Have a great, great day in the Lord Jesus Christ.